Number one, keeping Christ and Christmas can be as simple as saying Merry Christmas. For you see, the meaning of the word Christmas is twofold. Christ, meaning the anointed one, and Mass, meaning celebration. So when we say Merry Christmas to as many as we can during this special season, we are actually saying, have a merry celebration of the coming of the Christ, the anointed one. Merry Christmas, everybody. And number two, the angel of the Lord said to the shepherds, I've come to bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. And today, more than 2,000 years later, 93% of Americans and more than 2 billion worldwide will celebrate the Christ of Christmas. Number three, in 1818, a village priest in Germany had a poem, Silent Night, Holy Night, put to music and sung on Christmas Eve. This became so popular that it spread throughout the world. And all during Christmas, we sing wonderful worship songs to the Christ of Christmas. And it continues today. Number four, Advent, meaning the coming, was established by church leaders in year 480. The purpose was for Christians to reflect on the true meaning of Christmas and to also prepare themselves spiritually for both the first and the second coming of Jesus. And in the churches, a candle was lit each week to represent the anticipation in the Christian's heart of the coming of Jesus Christ. Number five, in 1822, a pastor in New York wrote a fun poem for children called A Visit from St. Nicholas. It's now known as The Night Before Christmas. And in this poem, he wanted to let children know that Christmas could be fun. So he read the poem on Christmas Eve, and it became so popular that it established that St. Nicholas or Santa Claus came on Christmas Eve. Number six, it was in America that St. Nicholas' name was changed to Santa Claus. You see, when the Europeans emigrated to America, they shared the story of St. Nicholas. But because of their heavy accent, St. Nicholas sounded like Santa Claus. So the name Santa Claus continued. Number seven, the original Santa was a man named Nicholas. He was born in Turkey in the year 300. And this man was a powerful Christian and minister who became known as a secret saint, and it was because he gave gifts to people in need in secret. Number eight, the Christmas tree also came about as a result of a great revival. And Martin Luther, the great German reformer of the just shall live by faith, was the first to put candles on his tree, and he said it represented that Christ, the light of the world, was welcome in his home. Number nine, Christmas being celebrated on December 25th was the result of a great revival. When this revival hit, there were so many new converts that the church decided to set the date of December 25th to celebrate Christ's birth in order to protect and also to help these new converts be a witness of the Christ of Christmas. Number 10, Christmas advertising before Thanksgiving in America began during World War II. When our troops overseas were not receiving their Christmas packages before Christmas, they complained. So the government asked the stores to begin their Christmas promotions before Thanksgiving. And the tradition continued. From our family to your family, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year.